What's going on guys? No freaking kicking their bass TV and I have a really important topic today. Um, as you can tell by the um, title, confidence is key. And I really want to just talk about this because I think this is a really important topic and I think I should be talking about this stuff more. Um, and this isn't only for fishing. This is, this is for everything. But I really think I should be talking about this stuff. Not all balls out fishing stuff, you know. I think I should be talking about this stuff as well. So what is confidence? Confidence is key. What, is, what does that mean? When you go out, I'm going to refer this to fishing because most of us are watching this weird fisherman, you know. And I, I want you guys, if you already started the video, I want you to watch this video all the way through because I, I really want this to get in your head. Confidence is key, guys. If you don't have confidence in the lake or if you don't have confidence in your bait, if you don't have confidence in yourself, you're not going to be a winner. Seriously, you're, you're not going to be a winner. You're not going to win. You're not going to win. If you, have, if you do not have confidence, especially in yourself, you're not going to win. You're going to lose every time. That's what makes a difference between somebody who's, who wins every tournament, or not wins every tournament, but at least gets in top three, who's really committed, who's really consistent, really busting their balls. I'm saying that in the video. I don't care. To win that tournament, you know, they're putting in the work. Their confidence level is up here. And then you have Average Joe right here that cashes a check every once in a while, but most of the time is in top 75% of the tournament, you know. But then you have Bob up here that's giving it his all. He, he knows he's confident. When he throws his bait out there, he's 100% confident that a fish is going to bite it. He throws his wobble head out there. He's working his bait. He's looking at the end of his rod. He's feeling that rock. He knows when he's going over brush. He knows when a fish is breathing on that lure. He's focused. He is confident. He knows that fish is going to bite that. But then you have the average Joe over here that just shows up to a tournament and thinks he's going to win it. Yeah, man, you, you may win a tournament just showing up, man. You, you might get lucky. But that, that's not the case, guys. You need to be confident. You gotta go work your hardest. You gotta be confident in yourself. You gotta believe in yourself. You gotta know you can do it. You gotta vision yourself. You gotta vision yourself holding up that first place trophy. You gotta vision yourself talking to people after that tournament, saying how you caught those fish, how you won that tournament, why you won that tournament. Why did you win that tournament? I was confident. I believed in myself. I knew I was gonna win that tournament. Last tournament I fished was the Hartwell tournament, and I won that tournament. I was fishing by myself, and I told myself the night before, I said, I'm winning that tournament. I, I didn't say, I'm going to do good in that tournament. I said, I'm going to win that tournament. But confidence is key. If you're not confident, you're not going to get anywhere. I know this sounds really stupid, guys, but this is just the truth. It's the 100% truth, and you have to be confident. You have to be focused. Focus is another thing. Say you throw your bait out there. You need to be focused on the tip of that rod. Not, not even in fishing, guys. Say you're playing baseball. That pitcher throws that ball, man. It's hitting 97 miles an hour. You're still focused on that ball. You're not focused on the guy at third base. You need to focus. You need to focus on that pitcher. Focus. What is he doing? You know? You got to be confident. When you go to swing that bat, you got to think you're going to hit a home run every single time. Confidence is key, guys. You gotta visualize it. I know I'm pretty much preaching to you guys, but I, just, I can't stand when people aren't confident. And um, when you go into that tournament, guys, you gotta think you're gonna win. You're gonna win. You're gonna win. Every cast you make, from that first cast, cast at the end of the day, you're gonna win. You complain about what boat number you got. Say there's 80 boats in a tournament, you get 78. And you're worried about that first 20 minutes of the tournament. But then, it's 2.40, you have to be in by 3 o'clock, and you're not worried at all. The same 20 minutes at the beginning of the day is the same as the 20 minutes at the end of the day. Anything can happen. That last cast, you can catch a 10-pounder and win the tournament. 
You gotta be confident, you gotta keep your head up, you gotta keep on pushing, you gotta get through the bull crap. You can't just give up, guys. You gotta be confident and you can't give up. Mike Iaconelli, never give up. That's a good example right there. Guys, so much on the confidence. I was texting LA the other day and she was she lost a good fish when we were um, pre-fishing Pickwick. She lost a good fish, she was down the whole day. You can't do that to yourself. You can't let yourself down. If you miss a big fish, you can't sit there and pout about it. You can't, you can't let it get in your head. You can't do that. You gotta think past it. You throw out there, you hook into a 10 pounder, you're working him, you're working him, he's fighting you back, you're almost falling in the water. You get him up to the boat, boom, comes off, breaks your line. You're just thinking to yourself, what's going on? You're all worried. Don't get worried. Tie yourself another lure on, cast out there, that eight pounder's breathing on your bait. And boom, catch an eight pounder. Or you catch a fish. Confidence. But if you break off that 10 pounder and you cast out there thinking about that, yes, yeah, all right guys, for a second you can say, man, I can't believe that just happened. You can be down on yourself. Maybe it was your fault, you know? Maybe you accidentally didn't retie or something and you knew there, there was a knot in the line you were just too lazy to retie it. Yes, it's your fault, but you gotta think, guys. That's the past, it's already been past. Think about the future, think about your next cast. Don't think about the cast that just happened. Erase your mind from that. Cause that's just gonna bog you down and drag you down and you're just gonna be thinking to yourself like all in zero confidence then. You just lost a tempo and you're not gonna be confident. Think, don't think about the past, think about the future. Think about the next cast, don't think about the cast before. Keep on getting that in your head. But guys, I'm gonna stop preaching. I want you to think about every single word I said in this video. I want you to go apply it on the lake next time you go. I want you to throw that cast out there. I want you to think that that fish is breeding on your bait. I want you to think that you're gonna get a bite every single time. I want you to think that you're gonna win that tournament. So if you guys really enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up. It really supports the channel. And share this video with your friends. Noah Pescatelli from Kicking Their Bass TV, out.